it's like late night with us, right? I'm usually so much better, but the day has gotten away from me so fast. So here I am, part five of what I'm calling the cotton candy furniture makeover. So this wardrobe is a piece that I'm redesigning uh, with all DIY paint. My name is Dion Woods with the turquoiseiris.com. Hello, everybody that's popping on to say hey and hello. Um, I know it's late for me, but gosh, it was a busy day. I had What's Your Story Wednesday on the DIY paint page tonight. Um, so hello. Hi, Glenda. I'm so glad y'all are here. Hi, Heather. Um, I actually told Matt I'm not going to do it tonight. I'm not. I just it's not going to happen today. Um, but. It was pulling at me. It's pulling me. I, I, to be honest with you, I'm so excited to get this done. And so I think I've named the next piece. You guys were so awesome to give me feedback for the next piece that I'm doing with the dark black. Um, it's going to have some bohemian blue and then I'm going to do some pastel florals all over it. Um, so I think I've got it narrowed down to at least two names. I'm not going to tell you yet. Um, but you know, you know what happened with the last piece? I said I wasn't going to put flowers on. Well, I woke up one morning and said, I'm not putting flowers on this. And I'm not putting white wax on this. And then I did both of those two things. Um, so every day is a little bit different. But I, I want to ask you guys, and I'm okay with your opinion, yes or no. Neither one, there's not a right or wrong answer. Um, but you see the bottom of this piece. It's done. I mean, I think it's done. So. The top is still messy, hodgepodgey. Mm -mm. It's not anywhere near being finished. It's still blotchy. Um, but here I am thinking, oh, let me tell Facebook, like you guys can't see it. So this is the piece I did in a class, an online class. Um, so, you know, my series has been a series of hand-painted pieces with almost like a wildflower look that I've hand-painted. Do we do that with this one? Yes. No. Heck no. Maybe so. What's in the middle? Um, right now, I'm feeling it could go either way. Um, of course, I want it to be a statement piece. I want it to be um, completely wow. And I'm calling it cotton candy because of the colors. And um, it goes with my summer theme, my, my summer carnival. Um, so some of you are going to say no. Some of you may say yes. But um, what do you think? Do we do um, the wildflower look? Do we trail them down the front? Um, or do we just say no? There's enough going on. We don't need any more. Um, right now, it's kind of part of my series is the summer festival. I'm going to get started, by the way. Um, I'm going to. We've done our two coats here of various colors of blue. We've done Cowgirl Coral and Hey Sailor, excuse me, Hey Sailor, Summer Crush and Carnival Red. I'm gonna come in with a little bit more red to balance out the way the bottom looks. And I know that you can't see all these details, but I promise you I'll be taking close-up photos. And I've already posted quite a few close-up photos of what the bottom looks like. So if you're on Facebook or, or YouTube, I promise you, um, I will be adding pictures. So just a thought. It goes with the theme, but I would love, 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 love your feedback on that. So let me get some red and I'm going to add a little bit of moisture and I want to just start layering just a little bit of the red. This is carnival red. and It's more of our warmer tone red. We have a blue red, which is called um, marquee, but this is our orangey red. I'm just going to layer in some. It's still splotchy because I'm still getting um, all of the colors and the layers on before I really start getting it to the final look. Because we will do some wet sanding and pull back some of these colors and let some of the under layering ones come through. So what are your thoughts? Flowers are your brand. I would just do the colors and no flowers. Uh, no, no, no. Flowers are your signature. 
Hi, Carrie, watching over on the Grams over there, right? Thank you. I'm adding water, but not enough to make it drip or anything, okay? I'm just kind of overlapping the blue, the bohemian blue. And I'm working quickly because it's really warm. It's going to dry really fast. I'm not going to worry about getting it just perfect, though, so... Please don't worry about doing any of that. And then I'm going to come back in with a little bit of coral. And then we're just going to throw in some golden ticket because we can. Golden ticket is our sheer uh, metallic. And I'm just going to do part of it. Dry brush a little over this blue. Okay, so let's grab some golden ticket, you guys. I'm going to put it where the hardware is. I'm going to actually go ahead and miss the hardware first and where this little key lock is. I'm just going to dollop over that. This dries really sheer. I know that it still looks like a like a mess, guys. It's going to it's going to come all together, I promise. And then I'm going to miss the golden ticket so it really gets in there and runny. And because I love it so much, I'm going to add some more. I just am. I want to highlight this amazing detail up here at the top. I can see four different colors right up here. Well, we're going to do a really sheer coat of the gold and ticket. And I'm almost positive I just splattered it all over my face. So that'll be good when I turn around. You know, when you do these Facebook Lives, you really can't take yourself very seriously. It's just pointless because inevitably you're going to throw something on your face. You're going to sprinkle golden ticket all over your face. It just is. It's just, it's inevitable. So Note, if you're going to do Facebook Lives or YouTube Lives or Instagram Lives, don't take yourself too seriously. You're either going to say something or do something that's a little bit silly. Silly, silly, silly. Okay, so I want to add some more gold right in here where the hardware is. And then I think I've pretty well got it. Because what I'm doing is I'm just dusting just a really sheer coat, almost like a glaze, um, across this. But I want more. I want more, I think. So water in one hand. Let me get some more going. And what's really wonderful, guys, you know how we just know, we just added the red? When I sprayed the water, the red pulled off and the turquoise is coming through. So that really pretty mermaid tail blue is coming through. Okay. A little over here, a little over there. And then let's just miss it. Don't worry about it. Don't work it too much. If you work it too much, you're going to end up messing it up. And you're going to end up muddling the colors, which nobody wants anything muddled. I don't think. I don't think you do. Um, anyway, I'm super excited. We're getting really close to being finished. I need to um, add a few finishing touches. I'll be lightly wet sanding it. May even need to do a little sanding block. And then um, we'll be waxing it with um, 
some white wax, and then we'll be ready for our cotton candy reveal. But my cotton candy doesn't get here till the 15th, so I can't stage it till the cotton candy is here. I should have moved that date up because I'm really excited. Um, so this was part five. Um, gorgeous piece. I want to um, show you. I'm going to tilt all the cameras down so you can see a little bit of how the bottom looks. Saw me on YouTube. Thank you so much, Susie. And Instagram, thank you. Hi, Amy on Instagram. Let me tilt this down too, guys. Okay, see this gorgeous detail right here, everybody? Over here? So the goal is to get this upper piece to go with that. Now, of course, I did do the top piece, I mean, the bottom piece in a class. So, but don't worry about that. It works really well if you do it in stages. Don't worry about everything being symmetrical. It doesn't matter. Um, it, everything goes together. I'm using all the same colors, but I do need your feedback. Flowers or no. Hand painted flowers or no. Okay. All right, you guys. I appreciate you joining me and I will see you tomorrow for part six. Good night. To go through all the buttons, guys. Save YouTube for last. Linda says yes, flowers. Thank you, hon.